Bon appétit. Hi, Jackie. Remember us from the candy club? Well, do you? Sure he does. Trust me, ladies. I wish I did. <laughs> Oh, shit! Jackie, get down! Jackie, don't take this the wrong way, but I got a sausage over here with your name on it. See, I knew you'd take it the wrong way. <laughs> See, you can't trust someone who's too thin. Look at Dolfo. What a fucking nutbag. I need some nutrition. Cuckoo! I just don't think people should laugh at a guy just because he's in the comic books and video games. I think it's a healthy exercise for the imagination. So you don't look so surprised when I rip your fucking nose off because you smiled at me. I know what you're thinking! <laughs> Jackie, you are the fucking hot sauce on the steak that is the Franchetti family. You crazy son of a bitch. So let's say you pick yourself up a girl for a date. Before you know it, she's gotten her feelings hurt over something you said, and there's a restraining order, yada, yada, yada. Women are very fucking confusing. You're too thin, Jackie. You don't eat enough good food. There, I said it. Life is so crazy. You're better off just not sleeping. This sleep deprivation's just like LSD, but you don't have to pay for it. Fuck, never did me no harm. I wonder about all those moments lost in time, like tears in the rain. Then I'm like, fuck it, make a sandwich, it'll be okay. I had this dog when I was a kid, a little poodle called Spunky. A little guy used to go everywhere I went, and when I did time at Leavenworth, it waited for me the whole time I was inside. I should have never chained it to a gate without telling someone. I love this place. I mean, it makes me happy. She's better than being a miserable thin fuck. Am I right? My dad said to me, Dolfo, he said, whatever happens in your life, don't you ever regret a thing. Be your own man and answer to no one. I thought that was a pretty fucked up thing to say just as he died a lethal injection. I went to the opera the other day. That fat biking bitch had to be the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. Down! He got me! Since these days ought to be replaced with the mop. At least then your average guy would know where he stands. Or where he sits, depending on whether or not we already shot out his kneecaps. Why do people say the world is my oyster? It'd be more realistic if they said the world is my hungry man TV dinner or something. You know what I never worked out? How come people build all these homes with an extra dining room that no one ever uses, huh? How come no one makes, like, secret rooms and shit hidden under the floorboard? See, then I'd be willing to apply for a mortgage. I had some of that gourmet chocolate the other day, flavored with goji berries and curry spices. Made me shit for a fucking week. I'm gonna find the prick who says that was a good idea and put a fucking Hershey bar right up his ass. I think if there's a god, 
He's a reflection of a man's personal desires. For example, my God, he's an old guy with a white beard who drinks Jaeger and watches a lot of John Wayne movies. Good in a fight, though. That's just me. If you drop a piece of bread, you want to know why it always lands butter side down? Because you're a dickhead for dropping perfectly good food, that's why. Pizza. It's like three of your major food groups, and the other ones are completely fucking useless anyway. <laughs>